So when we think about depreciation, we oftentimes talk about this idea of a depreciation tax shield. And so recognize depreciation is a non-cash expense, but it has implications for cash flows through a reduction in taxes. And so the reduction in taxes due to the depreciation process is called the depreciation tax shield. And so one way to think about it is what would be the taxes paid in a given year if there were no depreciation and compare that to the taxes paid uh, under the current depreciation system. And the difference between those is the uh, depreciation tax shield. And so you could go through the entire um, income tax calculation with and without depreciation. That's fine. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, the calculation is uh, very straightforward. It ends up being uh, simply the depreciation amount times the tax rate. And so the annual depreciation tax shield then is going to be the annual depreciation amount times the tax rate. And so if we can calculate each of these two, we'll just multiply them together and have the depreciation tax shield. So first of all, let's talk about the depreciation amount. So we're going to go from $275,000 all the way down to zero. So this is the full amount of depreciation over eight years. And so each year, we're going to divide that number by eight and we'll have the depreciation amount. That's 32,125 per year. And so that is going to go in right there. We have 32,125, and we're going to multiply that by what? Tax rate of 23%. So multiply by 0.23. That's going to equal the depreciation tax shield. And the depreciation tax shield here is 738. 8.75 per year. So there is the answer. And so again, the interpretation here is um, this represents how much taxes are reduced each year because of the depreciation process.